Hey, what's happening? Question I get a lot is, how should I warm up for a run? So that kind of depends on the workout you're doing. If you're kind of the general rule of thumb is the shorter the run, the longer the warm up needs to be. So that's allowing yourself to kind of activate those muscles. Um, when you're doing a kind of hard interval session, maybe some hill repeats, things like that, you need to allow yourself to, to warm up properly uh, before you get right into it. So one of the things I like to start out with uh, before my runs is some pre, pre-run warm, uh, movements. So not necessarily stretches, but just movements, things to kind of activate some muscles that uh, you're about to work. So I like to kind of start with the working my way up and going down. So starting with shoulder gaiters. Shoulder gaiters kind of knuckles on the temples and just get those elbows as far back as you can go, right? So let me just kind of turn sideways so you can see. And just going through a set of these for about 30 seconds or so just to kind of warm up those shoulders get them loose um, things like that uh, and then next another one for the chest and kind of shoulders is just a dynamic chest stretch right so you're interlocking your fingers in the back and just kind of lifting that those hands up as far as you can go and that's you're really going to feel that kind of in this area here and that's that's important when you're running right uh, and then kind of moving down uh, hurdle, hurdle steps, right? Hurdle steps, kind of something like this. Imagine just lifting your foot up and over an item that's next to you, right? So back and then forward, try to keep that torso kind of straight, right? So it's all, as, as I say in, the, in Happy Gilmore, right? It's all in the hips. So you're really just kind of moving these, okay? Uh, again, about 30 seconds of those, maybe 10 to 15 on each side. Uh, next, uh, runner touches or airplanes, uh, you may have heard it called other things, but really imagine yourself, you're, you're running right, and then you're just kind of reaching and elongating your body. Uh, if, if you don't have the balance for that quite yet, you can put your arms out kind of sideways like this, uh, and you're really going to feel this kind of down here uh, along, your, along your calf, ankle, shin. Uh, it's really going to activate uh, those muscles down there. So. Highly recommend that one. That's a great one. Uh, and again, five to 10 on each side. Uh, moving on, uh, lateral hip openers. This one's pretty, pretty easy. You just kind of move in side to side, maybe get a couple pulses on each side. And again, about 30 seconds total, just kind of back and forth. Um, you don't want to bend too far forward, just kind of almost like you're doing a squat, right? So just kind of, just kind of stretching that inside of your thighs out. Um, knee hugs, kind of just what it sounds like. So you bring your knee up to your chest, give it a couple little, couple little hugs as you pull in, hold it for a few seconds, uh, and again, you're just kind of stretching out that leg, and you're even, the, the one foot that's stabilizing yourself, uh, you're even kind of activating those muscles as well. Um, next, tin soldiers. Uh, these are pretty, pretty easy. You can either do it walking or you can do it in place, but really, just imagine like a march, okay, opposite hand to foot. And, you know, not too hard, not too fast or jerky, just kind of a nice fluid motion as you go through. Uh, next, leg swings, uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. Just swing the leg to forward and back. Uh, make sure you have nothing behind you that you're gonna kick. And uh, again, about 10 on each side, forward and back, and then you're gonna do uh, side to side. So try to keep that torso straight as you swing side to side. Uh, next, dynamic hamstring stretch. This one's great for any time of the day, even when you first get out of bed in the morning. It's just kind of a good way to kind of get that lower body going. So this was, you're going to bend one leg, a slight, bend one leg slightly, put the other one out straight, right toes up, and then just reach down and kind of sweep through and up towards the sky. Just like that. So again, about five or 10 on each side, switch to the other side and do that one. That's a, that's a great one, you'll really feel that one. Uh, and then next, just some, just some ankle rolls, right? So just, just kind of twisting those ankles around, maybe spell the alphabet with your toes. A uh, really good way to kind of just loosen up the ankles, the front part of your, of your ankle up into your shin. Uh, you can even kind of put the top of your foot back on the ground and just kind of lean down into it to kind of warm that up. And with these movements, they don't have to be 
you know, just before a run. You can do them a mile into your run after you've warmed up, maybe before you get to that, that hill where you're going to do repeats, or if you're running to the track to do intervals. Stop there, take a few minutes to go through some of these movements, and especially if you're feeling certain areas that are, are hot spots or maybe sore, um, just to kind of stretch them out as, uh, before your workout. Um, and you can do these, also incorporate these into your post-run kind of movements as well, because they're, they're great stretches and great movements. So uh, that's my pre-run uh, movements.